Felzer, it's time for morning announcements. I'm Madeline. And I'm Claire. And we are your anchors for BTV. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Today is Friday, January 8th. It is National Bubble Bath Day. It is also Report Card Day. You will be receiving, receiving your grades for the second nine weeks and the first semester during college prep this morning. In school news, A105 is closed this morning only. Please do not go there for laptop repairs until lunchtime. Monday, January 18th, Fall Creek Valley hosts a Martin Luther King Jr. Day celebration from 3 to 6. Everyone is invited to attend. You may also enter an essay contest as part of the celebration. Students may enter the contest by January 12th to be eligible for a cash prize. For details about the contest, call 855-1240. This information will be scrolling on the TV announcements throughout the day. If you are ever absent or late to school, you can access the BTV broadcast on our YouTube channel linked on the school website. Robotics Club members need to bring in their permission forms for the January 16th competition at Heritage Christian by this coming Monday. From now until January 22nd, B212 is closed for laptop repairs during college prep. Testing is going on in this location. Please take laptops that need work to A105. The Belzer blog staff is in search of student artwork. Submit your artwork to C110 or email copies to Mrs. Trotter this month to show it off in the Belzer blog. Today's lunch menu is potato crusted fish filet, chicken quesadilla, personal pan pizza, turkey and cheese chef salad, turkey bacon ranch wrap, mixed vegetables, and coleslaw. And now to Josh with the sports and weather update. Today's weather is a high of 50 and a low of 46. It's going to be scattered showers. Sports facts. The Chicago Bulls have won all six NBA finals in which they have appeared. On Monday, the wrestling, swimming, and girls basketball teams will have their pictures taken. Now here is Quinaya with a special report about girls basketball. Okay, my first question is, what is the first one here? On the 14th. Of January? Yes. Okay, my first question is, what position? Thank you, Josh and Konaya. In national news, in, in a town hall meeting last night, President Obama blamed Indiana's law, law, gun laws on some of Illinois' problems with crime. His statements were part of his discussion on the gun laws he wanted to instate. Twitter is considering the character limit for tweeting from 140 to 10,000. According to Recode, Twitter is trying to add more content without disrupting the way you currently scroll through your timeline. There has been criticism because there's, cause there could be issues with spamming. However, this feature would help news companies a lot because they could pose, post their entire news articles directly to Twitter without having to just tweet links to their website, allowing them to reach more people. The Waffle House here in Lawrence Township has been robbed four times in just the last six months. The police have been investigating why this location has been a subject to so many thefts. Officers are, looking, are also on the lookout for any suspicious activity, and the Waffle House is working to improve their security. E.B. White once said, Genius is more often found in a, in a cracked pot than in a whole one. On this day in history, Elvis Presley received his first guitar in 1946. Interesting fact. In the Arctic, the sun, som the sun sometimes appears to be a square. Joke of the day. What's a lightning bug's favorite game? I don't know. What? Hide and glow seek. Now to Mr. Harsha with the rest of your morning announcements. Have, Have a, a great, great day, day, Bruins. Good morning, Bruins. Uh,
couple things this morning. The first thing I want to do is um, recognize Claire Austin, 8th grader here at Belzer. You might remember uh, a few weeks ago before break, we were talking about our Carson Scholars. And um, we had started with getting nominations from teachers across the entire building. We narrowed it down to five finalists. And then all those five finalists had to submit to me um, the answers to a couple different questions. We looked into their community service, their GPA. We looked into, um, had them all submit a writing sample. And I want to congratulate Claire because she was our finalist for Belzer Middle School. So Claire has been working very hard over the last uh, two weeks to get her application. The Carson Scholar application process is not a simple one. Um, it takes a lot of time and a lot of work, and um, she's done a great job. Letters of recommendations from teachers, copies of her report card, uh, writing sample, and uh, we're just so proud of her uh, to represent Belzer Middle School, and uh, we want to wish her the best of luck. Her application is officially due today, and then um, there was some time as they go through all the different applications across the state, um, and uh, we just want to wish Claire the best of luck, and hopefully you'll get a chance to win that scholarship, but um, we're very proud of you nonetheless. Um, as a great role model for all the kids here at Belzer. So thank you for everything that you do. Okay, thank you. Okay, also today I want to talk a little bit, um, we're going to do our uh, reading log drawing. I have 20 winners right here that I'm going to read off your names here in just a minute. But I do want to mention, since today is a report card day, um, as you look at that report card, guys, I talked about this a little bit our very first Monday back, this, this Monday, um, about getting a fresh start this nine weeks. Some of you already, in the first four days of this new grading period have done some things a little bit differently than you did last semester. Maybe you've started showing up to class on time. Maybe you've started making sure that your device is charged at home. Maybe you've started to make sure that you're paying a little bit more attention and taking notes in class. Maybe you've started to set some goals for yourself. Hopefully you are taking advantage of this new start to the second semester and really starting to get focused on your academics. So continue to do that as you look at your report card today. Make sure that you are trying to find areas where you can improve. Even if you see A's across the board, there is surely something that you could be doing better as a person, as a student, as a friend, as a son or daughter, in all aspects of life. We're going to really start focusing on this next week as we start talking about goal setting. Uh, we're going to be using some AVID um, forms and some AVID techniques across the building and uh, I'm going to be encouraging everybody, students, um, to be setting some goals. So you might want to take an extra look at that report card because you might want to set some academic goals for yourself this semester. Uh, lastly, I'm going to go ahead and read off our winners. Again, as usual, I would ask that these students come right now to the front office and wait outside of my office. There are a couple tables and chairs there. Wait for me um, outside my office and we'll get your incentives. Chloe Britton from Miss Sam's. Darius Amos from Miss Davis. Kayla Bullard from Mr. Kennedy. Giselle Rodriguez, Miss Benjamin. Christina Shuck, Mr. Mann. Bryce Peevler, Miss Hurley. Larry Collins, Mr. Bergman. Kennedy Burroughs, Mrs. Hurley. Justin Drew, Miss Davis. Elisha Murray, Mrs. Heck. Vanessa Clements, Miss Nieto. Mackenzie Strunk, Miss Anderson, Amari Redman, Mr. Harris, Jack Krug, Mr. Harris, Markel James, Miss Anderson, Imani Hall, Mr. Bergman, Monisha Presley, Miss Benjamin, Jordan Branch, Mrs. Heck, Mateo Escobedo, Miss Nieto, and finally Javon, I believe it's Renter or Renton. Mr. Mann. So those 20 students, please meet me. Congratulations. Thank you for doing your reading log. Everybody uh, that was not selected this week that did a reading log, make sure that you have it done next Tuesday again. Remember, that reading log is a very important part of your college prep grade. And uh, also, you want to make sure you're getting a chance at these incentives and also as an entire class for donuts when we do those incentives. Uh, that's all I've got for today. So let's make it a great Friday.